Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. And you find me here on Cinnabar Island. We finally made it. Got through Seafoam Islands last time, managed to capture Articuno, and here we are getting ready to take on the next gym leader. Although we're not going to do that just yet, we're going to do a little bit of exploring around the place. But first, just a quick little um, update with Pokemon. I've done a little bit of training with some of Pokemon, but not a massive amount. Just leveled up both Lapras and the Gyarados. Just that little bit. Just to make them a bit stronger in preparation. Although Lapras still doesn't know a water type move. So I might be tempted just to teach Lapras Surf. Even though I'm pretty sure Lapras is due to learn Hydro Pump fairly soon from a level up. But I think rather than wait for that, I might just... To teach Lapras Surf, so if I, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right now. So let's just uh, take care of that. I don't think. Well, I mean, I got Water Pulse, but Surf is a stronger move, and I think just for now, I'd rather teach Lapras Surf. I could always make Lapras forget it uh, another time, but for now. Let's at least give you a water type move, and I think I'm going to. Hmm. I think I'm going to forget Confuse Ray because obviously it's 100% accurate, so it's always nice to confuse a, a, an opponent, but honestly, I think I'd rather just go all out with the moves. We'll keep Perish Song for now because that's like a. If everything else fails, that's like my last resort <laughs> kind of move. But that will do for now, and yeah, yeah, I'll carry on training with Lapras for a little bit. So, seeing as we're just arrived on Cinnabar Island right at the end of the last session, we might as well have wander around, and I don't think I even uh, had time to speak to anyone in the Pokemon Center. Do you have a lot of friends? Linking up with them, uh, linking up with the usual friends is fun, of course, but how about visiting the Union Room every so often? Who knows, you may end up making new friends. Well, we're talking about a feature that still requires the use of like the link cable. Although thinking about it, no, I'm wrong. These remakes actually came with uh, an optional accessory, didn't they? Or did it come bundled regardless? Like some kind of like attachable wireless um, device that you could put on your Game Boy Advance. So you can do like wireless battling before the DS came out. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose, but it is only designed for short range. It certainly couldn't connect to Wi Fi, as far as I can remember. Anyway, I came to visit the Cinnabar gym, but the door is locked tight. There should be a key for it somewhere. Could it be in that burnt out mansion? Okay, well, funnily, funnily enough, I was actually going to go there before the gym, so that's kind of convenient, isn't it? Pokemon can still learn techniques after cancelling evolution. Evolution can wait until new moves have been learned. That is true, but generally I do like to evolve my Pokemon as soon as possible. Scientists conduct experiments in the burnt out building. You know, the one they call the Pokemon Mansion. Hmm. But this ain't the mansion, this is the Pokemon Lab. And I think we have some important, important business here as well. We study Pokemon extensively every day. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. Oh, is that so? Also, who's this a picture of? Dr. Fuji? Huh. Fair enough. Uh, a couple of rooms. What do we have here? Uh, the meeting room. All right. Is there a meeting going on? Oh, there is. Oh, hello. Um, I didn't realize there was a meeting. Do you happen to have a Raichu? I do. Trade for an electrode. Um, not really. Not really, because I've also I've also got an electrode, so don't think I'd really want to trade. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Oh, really? Now, uh, funny you should say that because I've also found a a fossil. Uh, do you have a Venomat? I believe I do. Want to trade it for my Tangler? Um, no, partly because I don't have one with me, and partly because I can't remember if I actually ca if I've actually caught a Tangler. Let me just have a quick look. 
let's see. No, I haven't actually. I haven't actually caught a Tangela. Partly because apparently you're found in that sea route. Right. No, I think, uh, yeah, there's a grassy area, I think, uh, just south of Pallet Town, I think. So, I think that's what that means. But, um, yeah. I think it's safe to say Tangela are not found in the water. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm not going to do that trade. Okay, so we'll just leave them to do. Uh, we'll just leave uh, the meeting room so they can uh, do their um, meeting. Uh, the R&D room, research and development. Eh? All right, let's see what's going on. We can have a look on the computer. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Oh, someone's got to be playing. Um, hang on, when was this game released? 2000. Well, early 2000s, wasn't it? Uh, oh, what was the big thing back then? Someone's got to be playing, like, all those uh, Flash games from, like, Miniclip. <laughs> RuneScape. RuneScape was a thing back then, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I think. Oh, that's interesting. I can actually boot up uh, the computer. There's an email message. Oh, here we go. There are three legendary bird Pokemon. They are Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Their whereabouts are unknown. Well, for two of them, you know, I am... Um, People watching this Let's Play will know why, uh, well, where it is now. We plan to explore the cavern close to Cerulean from the research team. Hmm, I definitely want to check that out eventually, but I won't be able to go there right now. Anyway, what is this? Looks like some sort of pipe or something. It is an amber pipe. Huh, fair enough. I'll teach you a nifty move. Okay. Oh, metronome. Um, that's kind. That could be a hilarious move to to have, but I'm gonna say no for now. Yes, it's a lot of fun, but when you're tag teamed with like, um, I was gonna say a rival, but no, um, she's not a rival, uh, Dawn. But uh, when you're tag team, when you tag team with a friend. I was trying to battle Team Galactic, and Dawn's Pokemon decides to use Metronome, which ended up um, causing an explosion. Yeah, that's when Metronome doesn't um, uh, does is not that pleasant to uh, experience. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Ah, yes, of course. Back in the days where Eevee could only evolve into three different Pokemon. Um, what is it now? It's I was going to say seven, but no, it's... Hang on. Let's see. Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon. And I think that's it so far, isn't it? There's eight. So, um, yeah, quite a lot has changed since these games. Oh, looks like no one's got, like, a... Like a Flash game on the, loaded up on their computers. Oh, they're all too serious here. <laughs> Testing room. Ooh, hello. Uh, Ponyta, want to trade one for Seal? No, I don't even know if I've caught a Ponyta. Hiya! I am important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here, I study rare Pokemon fossils. All the time, I study. Uh, I do, in fact, I have two. The Dome fossil from Mount Moon and the Old Amber from... Um, uh, where did I get that from? Oh, Pewter Museum, that's right. Ah, it's the fossil of Kabuto. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, you go f walk. Go for a walk for a little while. All right, fair enough. But well, I can't remember if I need to actually just temporarily have some space. Uh, oh, that's the wrong room. That's the meeting room. I needed the uh, the R and D room, but actually, it's fine. I'll just go to the Pokemon Center. Because I think all I need to do is just go outside and uh, go back in. So I'll tell you what, let me just create some space. Just so we can welcome uh, our reawakened prehistoric Pokemon. So, uh, Kadabra, I'm just going uh, to leave you in the box for now. In box two, but don't worry. You've got good company there in the form of Articuno and Zapdos. I'm sure you lot will get along just fine. <laughs> And let's see about that uh, Kabuto.
You late? Where were you? Sorry, I was only going to the Pokeball Center. All right, we got ourselves a Kabuto. Nice. Level five, unsurprisingly, but here we go. We got ourselves a relaxed um, Kabuto. Nice. All right, cool. But of course, that's not the only fossil I have. Yes, I do. The old amber. It is a fossil of Aerodactyl. Oh, yes. We're going to have you re resurrect uh, Aerodactyl from that old amber. In fact, I'm almost tempted to maybe somewhat use Aerodactyl, but considering it's probably only going to be level 5, it's going to require a significant amount of training, so... Definitely not right now, but eh, you never know. It might be fun to use an Aerodactyl. <laughs> but for now, let's just deposit Kabuto. I'll probably read your Pokedex entries in a moment. Although, thinking about it, I think there's quite a few Pokemon uh, po Pokemon's Pokedex entries that I have not read since some Pokemon evolved. And I can't remember which ones they are, so I'm not going to try and remember and uh, repeat myself. So I'm just going to do the Pokedex entries for these two prehistoric Pokemon. Nice, so we got ourselves the Aerodactyl. Yep, level 5. And you're a jolly Aerodactyl. Alright. Guess you're feeling quite jolly that you uh, have a second chance of living. Nice. <laughs> and while we're at it, let's have a little read of the Pokedex. So, right to the bottom. Where are you? There's Kabuto. Kabuto, the shellfish Pokemon. This Pokemon was regenerated from the fossil of an ancient creature. It protects itself with a hard shell. Aerodactyl, the fossil Pokemon. It was regenerated... Blah, blah, blah. It was regenerated from a dinosaur's genetic matter that was found in amber. It flies with high-pitched cries. Flies with high-pitched cries. And a slight possibility of also um, holding uh, Ash Ketchum in its... Uh, uh, in its claws as well. <laughs> From that old episode. Attack at the prehistoric Pokemon. Yeah, that was the episode where Ash found that uh, egg which ended up hatching into, into a Togepi, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, let's bring back... Oh yeah, I did already catch a seal. Did I catch a Ponyta? No, I haven't. But I'm not going to do the trade anyway. Because, well actually no. The trade was Ponyta for a seal. I wanted the other way around, so uh, no, it's uh, not worth it. Okay, so that's the lab done. Quite an interesting place. And good to see that everyone is actually being very serious about their work and uh, no sign of like old flash games on uh, on the computers or anything like that. Remember, this was a, well, I was going to say, well, this is a remake that was out in the early 2000s, but of course the original games was out in the mid-90s, so um, I don't even know what was around in the mid-90s on the internet. <laughs> Certainly nothing like there is today, that's for sure. Anyway, what do you have for sale? Anything good? Uh, a couple of Ultra Balls. How many Hyper Potions do I have in the bag? I don't really need them, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to grab a few extra. Ah, uh, probably. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just let's just grab a few extra and make make a, a nice round figure of ten there. Uh, full heals. Is it worth grabbing a few? Not really. I've already got a few. Ultra balls. Uh, yeah. I better stock up on them just in case we encounter another rare Pokemon. So oh, I used twenty-three uh, Ultra balls on that Articuno. That wasn't too bad. Um. Oh, actually, it might have been one extra because of uh, I think I found an Ultra Ball whilst going through Seafoam Miles, if I remember rightly. I've still got a few Great Balls to use, so we'll probably just use all those. Yep, that's exactly right, and that's what I've done exactly. 
Oh, speaking of items, I actually decided just to deposit uh, a small number of items that I don't plan on using, just in storage, just to remove a bit of clutter. Cinnabar Jim's Blaine is quite the odd fellow. He's lived on this island since way before the lab was built. Hmm, is that so? Well, I gotta say, considering this is meant to be a volcanic island, there isn't really any obvious signs that this is actually a volcano. I'm guessing the entire top of it is just like a sealed up crater, and then three years later, uh, it just uh, erupted. So yep, the gym is locked. Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym. Leader, Blaine. The hot-headed quiz master. Oh god, I forgot about that. The quiz master. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh boy. I'm probably going to make a right fool of myself when I take the quiz, but... Whatever, we can't do that right now. We've got, uh, well, oh, that's the town sign. Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of burning desire. Well, this must be the Pokemon Mansion. And indeed it is. Oh, actually, maybe we could find the likes of Wild Ponyta in here. Also, while I'm at it, might not be a bad idea to register the item finder. Just in case. Ah, sure enough, there is. Okay, it's actually further down. All right. Ooh, very close. All right. Right in that rock. Um, well, uh, that's a Pokemon. But rather disappointingly, it's just a Raticate. No, no thank you. Bye. Don't care for you, Raticate. Much more interesting of a Pokemon. Oh. Okay, must be the rock below it then. There it is. Oh, a Moonstone. I think that's my third one now, so actually I can evolve uh, some of the Pokemon that I have that require a Moonstone. Uh, an escape rope, that could be useful. Let's see what other Pokemon I've found around here. Oh, coughing. Alright. Now we'll leave you for now, but so far we've found Radicate and Coughing. Well, there's actually someone in here. Interesting. Mm, all I'm finding so far are Radicate and Coughing. If that turns out to be the case, I'll just put on a Repel. Ah! You startled me! I thought you were a ghost! Last time I checked, um, I don't think uh, the ghosts in this game wear clothes or look like people. Anyway, this is just an Ekans, so this shouldn't be too difficult for Lapras. I'm just going to move Surf up there and an Ice Beam up there, and that will do just fine. Also, I did remember to turn on the battle animations after doing uh, that little bit of training just before I started recording. Another Ekans! Oh, you're going to go for the intimidation method, are we? Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine, but it doesn't really work out well for you because... Yeah, I'm kind of busy just using Surf, so you're kind of screwed. <laughs> oh, that's right, I gave the uh, experience share to Raichu. But I might give that to uh, Dragonair in a bit. But we'll try to uh, write you a little bit. I was exploring here by myself, but I feel spooked. I ought to go soon. Yeah, look at this statue here. A secret switch. Um, yeah. Secret switch. Gotta press it. Who wouldn't? Exactly. Oh, man. Those eyes just lit up. Reminds me of uh, that statue from uh, Explorers of Sky in that uh, episode, uh, one, of, one of my uh, episodes when we did that big exploration. Expedition, rather. Hmm. Spooky. Okay, so that, I think, opens that door, which indeed it did. And, okay, we've got a Growlithe. I mean, we've already encountered Growlithe, but I've yet to catch one. Partly because every Growlithe I encountered always used a Roar. Uh, but let's try Body Slam. Uh, 
Okay. Didn't knock you out, which is good. Next, let's bring out Raichu and use Thunder Wave. Actually, I suppose I could have brought out Dragonair as well, but... It's fine. Ooh, Flame Wheel. Uh, Thunder Wave. Let's just paralyze you. Ooh, that's not good if you're going to keep using Takedown. But then again, it will also slowly weaken you. So actually, if this fails and if you use Takedown, that might actually benefit me. But no need to do that. I finally caught myself a Growlithe. Nice. I finally caught you. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. There we go. Nice. Finally got ourselves a Growlithe after after missing out on catching one several times. Um, early on in this adventure. Well, here, Grimer. Okay, uh, so there's definitely a few Pokemon I could try and catch, but... Uh, honestly, I think I've got quite a lot of Pokemon registered in the Pokedex now already anyway, so... I don't think I need to worry too much about getting a specific number of Pokemon registered in the Pokedex now. So, I think I'm probably just going to put on the Repel just to get through this a little bit quicker. Uh, I should have a few still left. Oh, I've got Max Repels. Did I really use up all my Super Repels? I guess I did. Alright, fair enough. Uh, so, that's another door. Okay, fair enough. There were some stairs earlier on. Oh, that's just for some protein, so... Nothing major there, so alright, we're gonna now go upstairs. Okay, another one of those statues. Hey, buddy. Behind you! Besides you! There we go. I can't get out. This whole place is one big puzzle. Yeah, well, I mean, no one forced you to go in there. Oh, but you're a burglar. Right, okay. That actually now makes sense. Alright. Well, I'm not, I'm not really keen on burglars, I have to say. But in this game, at least, I'd say Team Rocket are far worse than a typical burglar, so... There is that, but either way, I'm still going to absolutely destroy your burglar. Besides, what do you even hope to find in a place like this? Hey, right, you level 45. Nice. Arnie. My bag of loot. Your loot bag? <laughs> Wait, that's a whole lot of money I just got. What? That was a lot of money I just got from you. And I didn't even use a Pokemon that had an amulet coin. My god, I should have brought out my po Pokemon that was holding the amulet coin. I think Charizard's holding it. Oh man, I could have made a fortune off you. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would have been the uh, the great... Um, that would have been uh, great thinking there, but nope, I did not think of that. Oh well. Ooh, a book. Diary, July 5th, Guyana, South America. Okay, so yeah, that's right. In this game, at least, it's almost as if this game uh, does actually take place in the real world. Huh. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Ah. I think I have an idea what that's referencing. Okay, no other hidden items. There's a locked door there. We're finding a whole bunch of stat boosting items. Uh, Repel's effect wore off. Let's just carry on using one. Uh, there we go. I still have plenty of repels left, so no need to worry. Another diary. July 10th. Rechristened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Aha! That's exactly what I thought. I wonder if I missed... Did I miss a diary downstairs? I don't know. Although, then again, that first diary I just read did say something about, uh, well, Guyana in South America. Right, so that probably flipped open the door up there, but I want to go up here first. Diary, February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. 
interesting. Oh, hang on. Are you a burglar? Hang on. You're a burglar, aren't you? Hang on a minute. You're holding the amulet coin, aren't you? Yes, you are. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's bring Charizard up front and just see how much money I can really get from you. This place is, like, huge. Yeah, and I would say not a lot of treasures, but I am finding stuff on the ground. But um, clearly, you lot aren't doing a good job of finding it. Also, level 38 Ninetales. All right, nicely done. Nice. Oh, damn, look at that. Oh, wow, nearly 7,000. Okay, yeah, oh, that's a great way to get some extra money. Um, He's downstairs, and I also defeated him. Sadly, I did not think to uh, bring out Charizard sooner, otherwise I could, I could have completely um, took all of your money, to say the least. <laughs> right, another statue there. Uh, let's go in here. There's an item. An iron. So that one will open that door. There we go. We just saw that move. And... Oh, interesting. There's someone here. My mentor once lived here. Oh, is that so? Also, I'm going to assume I'm going to have to fall through the floor there. To get to... Um, I think the locked room that was downstairs. Although I think there was also like a small balcony on one of the other, um, I think there was a small balcony that I don't think there's any way to get to, so we'll, uh, we'll investigate that in a moment. Anyway, Charizard is the perfect Pokemon to take on. These Magnemite and Magneton. And a Voltorb. All right, that's fine. This should definitely be enough to level up Charizard. Probably won't use you against Blaine, but at the same time, I could at least use you as like uh, like a neutral option. There we go. Beautiful. Oof! Overwhelming. <laughs> Try jumping off over there. Well, that's exactly what I'm planning on doing, but I kind of want to do a little bit of exploring before I do that. I don't want to miss everything in this place. Anyway, let's just use another Max Repel. We've got an item here. Uh, a HP up. So we can now jump off. As I said, I think one of them uh, lands you down near uh, onto a balcony. Or not. I swear there was a balcony. Oh, wait, wait, maybe it was that one. Okay, never mind. I'm being stupid. I thought the balcony was a lot smaller than I thought. Okay. I'm obviously uh, not paying enough attention. But that's okay. It's not too far to get back up here. And um, let's just um, let's just YOLO. Ah, this looks this looks like the right way. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Well, actually, thinking about it, then I should ask you that same question then. What are you doing here, Ted? Okay, you may try and send out your big bull, but uh, that's not going to frighten me. <laughs> that ain't going to intimidate me. And a wheezing. Ah, oh, I should have brought up Kadabra, but never mind, it's fine. Actually, these Pokemon are a little bit weaker than I thought they would be. Well, I suppose theoretically you can get to Cinnabar Island after you've taken care of the Fuchsia Gym. But still, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like some of these, some of the levels in some of these Pokemon squads are just a little bit, I don't know, they just seemed a little bit off to me for some reason. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, considering I didn't actually say that, um, 
you obviously know what I'm looking for. That's certainly not what I'm looking for. That's just carbos. Uh, that looks like the way out, but there's, there's actually some stairs here. Let's have a look. Wait, what? Where am I now? Yo, right beside you. You are lost, my friend. And for a moment there, I thought I was as well. Well, it looks like there's another way out, so we'll definitely have to investigate that in a moment. I uh, shouldn't need to worry about that too much. We'll carry on using wing attack, um, even though it, mm, it might... Yeah, it'll still knock out that growl, if no problem. And Ponyta will stick with Charizard. Ooh, he actually survived. Nice one. Alright, we'll finish off with a Slash then. <laughs> ah, woo! Werewolves of London. <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot of money again. <laughs> And there's another diary. September 1st. You two is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Oh dear. And it was at that moment they realised they effed up. <laughs> and no, that's the full restore. Where the hell is the key? But that did open up a door somewhere up here. Yeah. My god, you got long range vision there. Uh, this place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. Well, I guess it sort of was thinking about it. But obviously, something went wrong and it's now abandoned and the Pokemon have taken over. And another person who's sending out their big ball against me, but uh, they certainly don't intimidate me. <laughs> what was that for? Simple. You're the one that initiated the battle in the first place, so uh, that's what you get, buddy. I like it here. Well, if you like it, then I guess that's fair enough if you can uh, put up with... Uh, the Pokemon that live here. Actually, before I activate that switch... TM14 Blizzard! Ooh! So that will open up that door, but where did that uh, other door go out to? I need to backtrack a little bit soon because I want to see where that goes. So this is... That's the secret key. Okay, so that must be the key for Cinnabar. Jim. And Solar Beam. All right, okay, we're getting some interesting stuff. We're definitely finding some uh, good stuff to help ourselves to. Although, thinking about it, I say that burglars are, like, you know, they're not really good people. But then again, isn't what I'm doing technically, like, aren't, aren't I technically like a burglar, considering I am just helping myself to a lot of stuff? No, it's different. They're discarded items. I'm just merely helping myself to items that people have left behind. And yeah, we can't go back that way. I was, I'm pretty sure that's like just an alternative way out. But I do have an escape rope, so that doesn't really matter. Although there was a switch here I forgot about. There we go, that's what I needed to do. So, where does this take you? Oh, it just takes you back out that way. Okay, that is a one. That is a mysterious door, that. Don't really trust that. Anyway, so I think we've got the key for the gym. So, what I'll do, I'll just quickly heal up my Pokemon. And then we'll go and check out the gym. <laughs> 